So what I thought I'd do is instead of just giving you a PowerPoint presentation with, with a bunch of text, I thought I'd show you the actual uh, research and the data that I've been collecting and, and what, it's, what, what drone data looks like. Um, I prefer the term UAS or Unmanned Aerial System, but let's use drones for the time being. Uh, usually drones are you know, shot out of the sky by airplanes, so I don't like my drones being shot out of the sky. Um, so what we're looking at here is, um, well, welcome to Antarctica. Uh, so this is a, a 3D model that's created uh, by combining a series of overlapping two-dimensional images captured by a drone. And then you mosaic them together and the software does this magical thing called structure from motion um, and where it, it actually correlates overlapping pixels and extracts three-dimensional information from that based on something called parallax, which we all do. We have two eyeballs and we're always looking at the world from two different, slightly different perspectives. That's essentially all you need to be able to have the computer tell um, the Z dimension rather than just X and Y. This isn't possible from other types of remote sensing technology, so you can't do this from a satellite. Okay, you really, you're not going to have the resolution to be able to see penguins from space. Uh, at least not with non-military technology that we have access to. Um, you, it's hard to do this with aircraft. Um, it's hard to get aircraft to Antarctica, as you can imagine. It's extremely expensive. Um, drones provide a much more accessible, efficient and quick way of studying small areas.